Hello, 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 you lovely, lovely people. Mark back here from 6 Plus with another Fire Slayer video. So today we're going over the Grimhold Exile. Um, I'm really excited for this model. I really, really like the sculpt. I love the lore behind it and what it can do on the battlefield. So let's crack on and see what it's all about. So, a little bit of housekeeping. Why was it that we needed another on-foot hero, though? <laughs> Is We now have the biggest ratio of on-foot heroes to units in AOS. Ten on-foot heroes to four units. Don't get me wrong, all the heroes are amazing. Really, really like them. Like, genuinely. Really, really like them. But come on, give some variety, please. Baby Magma Drops, something. Do, you know, just something, please. Some options. But anyway, little rant over. Let us carry on. So, Brea, I believe, it, or Bayar, is the named variant that you get in the box set. That is the only way to get him at this moment in time. So... Grimhold Exile, Exile, always struggle pronouncing that, I don't know why, is 140 points. So, rules wise, he needs to keep up with like Grimhold, uh, the uh, Grim, Ra uh, Grim Wrath Berserker and the Doomseeker and, you know, other units of that ilk. So he does come in swinging with five attacks, hitting and wounding on threes, rend two, two damage. Tasty. And on top of that, when in combat, has a 4-up ward save. So, can punch really well. And is durable. Uh, unless I'm mistaken, is 5 wounds. 4-up uh, armor save? No, 5-up armor save, I want to say. Somewhere along those lines. But, it's not really the armor save you're going to be worried about. It's the ward, in all fairness. In all fairness. So... This is where it gets kind of tasty. Once per game, he can hit something really, really big. You change your attack profile to... You roll a dice for each wound characteristic against an enemy model. And on a four, they suffer a mortal wound. So, an average 17, 18 mortal wounds to a Mega Gargan in one swing. So it is once per game, and you can't use your other five attacks. Okay? I like that. Having that in your back pocket and going, here's my little here's my little rocket ship just flying up the board. I say flying because they are dwarves. Up the board. That can threaten your big model. Mega Gargan. Uh, man crusher, mole crushers, I believe they're called. Any of those big creatures, star drakes, stuff like that, and you just go roll a dice for your wounds characteristic. It's not what wounds you got left, it's your wounds characteristic, your full wounds. So if they are left on 10 wounds left, and they have 30 wounds to start with, 15 to 16 mortal wounds, not bad, not bad at all. <laughs> Little bit also, I'm struggling with pollen and dust today, so I am a bit stuffly. So, the downside is that he doesn't get to pile in before making that attack and has to be within one inch of that attacking. Um, he's attacking, so it can be somewhat avoidable because if you do, if the opponent can screen quite well, you can stop it. All right, so it isn't just I can, you know, you you have to be in base to base basically. All right, so that's one thing you have to have in the back of your mind if you're playing with the ex exile or against the exile. Try and keep them at an arm's length. In virtual commerce, <clears throat> he also his other once per game ability gives a very small six inch bubble for fire slayers that are not mounted. To run and charge. Is a wholly within bubble. Um, 
you could get possibly two um, units in that and maybe a hero or something like that. You're not going to get, you're not going to be able to string this out. So, it's a shame that it's a once per game ability, the run and charge. I would like that being a bit more of an actual uh, command ability that you could use. But I can see why they went for a once per game. For both of them, obviously. Really, really nice. Really just straightforward, simple. You know what you're getting. I really, really do like that. And I like he fills in a niche that isn't kind of there already. Being able to support your units to a certain extent by going once per game. You can run and charge. Um, because we all know about the runes. That's, you know, you could use it in tandem. Uh, previous, you know, previous runes may go plus one or two to your run and charge and blah, 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 blah. You could use that in tandem, which is great. Um, so the Regiment of Renown, that at this moment in time, you can get the Exile in. Uh, you get the Exile. And to build, you get five Uruk Halfguard, five Halfguard Berserkers, and ten Volkite Berserkers. It's actually a really good box. Um, so the ability they get for being this Regiment... Anyone monsters within three inches of any unit here cannot contest objectives and cannot be chosen to target as a uh, monstrous rampage. <laughs> That's. <sighs> I don't see armies diving after this. Um, I like it. From its versatility. I do like it. Because you could hold like the middle objective. And be like. No monsters. No. Um, but there's a lot of options. That order already have. For dealing with monsters. From their shooting. From their magic. And so on and so forth. But don't get me wrong. Options are always really really nice. Um. I do find it a shame that you can't use the Regiments of Renown in their own faction. So you can't use the Fire Slayer Regiment of Renown in the Fire Slayers. Because I could have found a bit of use for it in the Fire Slayers to a certain extent. But I like having the option. I genuinely like having the option. It's, um, it's better than nothing, let's just say. And that is it. I do apologise. My nose suddenly went more bungy as we went along with the video. But nice, concise, short video. I, so the pros, I really like the model. I do like it. I like the lore behind it. Explaining what happens to a hold if and when it gets overrun, destroyed and stuff like that. And they are the last of their uh, family, their hold downside is we didn't really need another on foot hero didn't really um also um middle point is his rules his abilities and everything like that are unique i do think they are uh there's nothing else in the fire slayers that really allow you to do this kind of stuff so i do like that um <clears throat> On the other note as well is the Regiment of Renown. It's alright, but it's nothing. It's nothing. Oh my god, this is broken. Which I think is a good thing as well, because I don't see that then being nerfed anytime soon. It doesn't need to be. But yes, thank you so very, mo very much for watching through to the end. If you have enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment down below. It helps the algorithm 110%. Um, social media links and affiliate links down in the description. So if you want to get some of your wargaming hobby supplies on the cheap, go through those. Um, it doesn't cost you any extra. It actually gives you discounts, but it gives me a small kickback, which is very, very much appreciated. But as always, thank you so very, very much, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Take care.
Thank you again for watching through to the end. As always, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification so you're made aware of when new content comes out. Social media links have been put down below, such as Discord. Come over, chat with some great people. And the merch store and the hobby store are all up and running. So have a little gander, see what you fancy to help support the channel outside of YouTube. But as always, thank you again and take care.